Welcome back to Live with In Studio. I'm Dave Palumbo with a very special guest here today. One of the most special we've had in the studio, I must add, and the woman I'm talking about is my sister, Nicole Vitali, who is in town visiting me and uh, we're doing a lot of other cool stuff too. Yeah, we are. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be in studio. Yeah. It's my first time. You're working now in a, in a relatively new job you know, description mm -hmm. for the hair club. Absolutely. And explain exactly what the hair club does predominantly. Predominantly we do hair restoration, we do both cosmetic, and we do surgical side of it as well. My history with hair uh, loss was that Probably when I turned, I think, 30, I noticed I was starting to thin. By 32 or 3, I, I was unhappy with the way it was looking, right. and, and I started. I decided to go for the hair graft restoration there. Right. Um, when they take the hair from the back of your head, you get a little bit of a scar on the back mm -hmm. of your head. So it was good, and, and, and it was satisfying, but, it was, but I, I found myself still you know, saying, I wish I had more donor hair to, to cover my scalp. And now, a new, relatively new procedure came out, uh, which is called, um, what do you, it's abbreviated MDP? MDP, MDP. so MDP. microdermal pigmentation. Okay, and what microdermal pigmentation basically is, is adding color to your head in, in a precise manner. Right, that accurate. mimics your, right, your hair follicles? Absolutely, accurate placement of pigment that does mimic your hair follicle, mimics the hair actually, yeah. so you look like you have a fuller, more robust head of hair. And it looks very natural. Extremely natural. Now, when you approached me with this, obviously, when you started working for a hair yeah. club and you said you should really come get this done, I was a little nervous at first because I'm yeah. wondering, I don't want to, you know, no offense, because Tattoo Timmy's a very good friend of mine. Right. Tattoo Timmy has a, a, a tattoo, like it's right. a helmet on his head. It's a right. solid black helmet on right. his head. And I didn't want to look like that. Right. No offense, Timmy. It looks great. And right. I wanted to look natural. And to interject, it's a good thing that you're bringing that up because a lot of people think they could just go to a tattoo place and say, hey, I'm going you know, to get a tattoo and I'm going to have hair. Yeah. It's not the same thing. Right. 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 Because we're only going down to the second layer of the skin where a tattoo artist will go down to the third layer. Now, it's a much darker Well, what, Well, do. really what's the difference is you go down to the third layer. You ever notice you get a tattoo, it looks beautiful when you walk out, and yeah. then all of a sudden it starts to spread. Mm -hmm. or it may turn color. Now right. on your arm, that's not such a big deal, right? Because it's on your arm, but you have that on your head and you start spreading and it looks a little funny and it could turn color. You want to steer clear. Yes. And so what we did is I went in there and we took some before pictures. Maybe we could, Tyler could put up one of the before pictures. Yeah, that'd be great. Now that, that picture mm -hmm. right there is, um, that's a scar across my head. That's where they right. get the hair originally when I got the hair grass, right. which is still, usually I grow my hair longer so it's covering that. Sure. But I wanted to say, well, what, if, what if I want to shave the back of my head? Right. So this was the before, and then you took a little video. Oh, this is the after. Okay, this is this is today, one right. day later. And this is only one day later, so don't forget that's going to heal and that's going to look seamless. Right. So you're going to look like you just have hair back there. Right. Now, I, I'm already. If I had just got that, I would be happy. But right. that, the procedure is it's done in three stages. Yeah, you you'll come for your first procedure, then you come for your second procedure, and then after that procedure we take a minute and we reflect and we see, is this enough? Is, do you want to, should we be doing a little bit more? Right. And that's really judged by the practitioner and also, of course, by you right. and the depth of what you're looking for. Now, put the, yeah, the, that's the procedure. There. Yes. You can see that they're actually putting little dots mm -hmm. of pigment in there. They put like 10 or eight or so dots and right. they kind of wipe it. It's, it's like getting a tattoo. The outcome is so remarkable and you really looked so great. We were in awe. Hmm. When we finished, and Tina Lewis is our practitioner that that um, performed this on Dave yesterday, and I mean she's amazing, as are all practitioners. But you know, you guys had a really great consult as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, she, I mean she she I, I asked you know me, I asked a million questions, mm -hmm. and I said, look, you know, this is I just want to know what you're doing so that I can come on here and talk intelligently about what was done to my head. And mm -hmm. like you said, she explained the fact that the this only goes into the second layer of the skin; it doesn't sure. go deeper like a normal tattoo, which kind of made sense to me. After the next procedure, I think the bald spot area will look even better. Oh, you'll have, you won't be able to see anything after yeah. the second procedure. Yeah. Um, it looks exponentially better now. Now, my, my suggestion is that, you know, like going for any procedure, cosmetic procedure, you got to go to people that you trust. I agree. And that, that have a reputation. Now, I know Hair Club, you know, has a great reputation. Uh, you can go online. They've been around for a long time. For, over 42 hire, years. Yeah, they're not going to hire like hack people to do this because no. they would, would ruin their whole. Of course not. It would ruin their whole uh, business, I should say. Where can people 
if they want to get this procedure done, like, and I know that there's not every city has a hair club, but where are the hair clubs located that do this procedure now? Well, I will tell you, we really are located all over the world. Um, we have several locations that are our hub centers that you would go to, and we're in Los Angeles, we're in Ohio, mm -hmm. we're in Canada, Toronto area, oh. we're in Florida, West Palm location. Right. We're in New York, Midtown. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is a, such a phenomenal procedure, and it really does help people, and especially it's not just for men, you know. It's for women as well. You know, you could have a lot of hair, like my hair, but all through here in your crown, you can have diffusing. Yeah, we know some of the people in our industry, some of the women mm -hmm. are losing their hair for whatever reason or another, but right. uh, the, the thinning up there could be mm -hmm. combated. It probably looks better when you have long hair, and it then you just phenomenal. have a little up here, because then it just, you can blend it in better. You can't even tell that it's not your hair. Because don't forget, you have all this fullness here, and then let's say you're diffusing through here. Once that pigment goes in, all you're looking at is it looks like you have a thick scalp, and then you have all this beautiful right, hair. Right, right. And what about the people that just like the shaved head look, that just with the little hair, the, you know, the, like the Vin Diesel look? Yeah. And all that stuff. Is that are people doing that? Just, Absolutely. That's just, that's a huge thing. Right. Huge so if thing. So I, if I just, you know, if I shave my well, if I shave my head, I have to have my whole head done with that right. that person. Well, no, right. I wouldn't because I have. Well, hair you have hair. hair. So, so you would, can, we would do it in your areas without hair. Maybe yeah. I'll just shave my head one day after yeah. it's all done just to see, see how, it how, how it looks. Here's a question I think uh, a lot of people are wondering now. Yeah. You know, uh, when they did my hair, you know, I, I was telling my one very dark, but she's like, mm -hmm. look, we don't just put one color. They had three separate colors and they yeah. kept dipping into different colors yes. as they get to the border mm -hmm. and they blend it so that it doesn't mm -hmm. look like there's just a line. Of course. You can see it. You can't tell where the, it start, where the right. pigmentation starts and where my hair right. starts, which is, which is important. What if you have lighter hair, like so, blonde, dirty blonde hair? Mm -hmm. Can you duplicate that? So that's a great question, Dave. And one of the things with that is, when you have blonde hair, even if you were born a platinum blonde, you will always have some sort of a shadow. It will never be right. a platinum brown root unless you're going and physically coloring it that way. What we would do is we, you know, as she tells you, she does all different kind of shading and, and mirroring. What it would look like is a shadow. So as a natural blonde has a shadow, and I love that look because, guys, it gives you dimension, it gives you depth, mm -hmm. and it looks really... I very think it looks few really beautiful. Are super, very platinum right. anyway. It, most people, it's a dirty blonde. Right, and if, we, if we're setting expectation, and you're saying to me, well, I don't want that, then that's probably not going to be the procedure for you. Right. But you will have a very light, looks like a very light route. All right. Well, look, I, I think it's a great procedure. If any of you guys out there want to get this procedure done, um, just because you're watching this show and you know Dave Palumbo, we're going to give you guys a discount, right? Yeah, we're going to give them a discount. We're going to give you I 200. Think, oh, sorry. 200, oh, okay. What's we're going discount? to give you $250 off. I was only going to give them 100 but you're going to give them $250. I'm going to give them $250. Right. I'm, the, I'm the more generous of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheap though. 250 <laughs> off. And how do they get this 250 off if they go to hair club? So we're going to go ahead and supply them with the phone number. And they're going to call and they're going to mention you. And it's actually a special phone number you'll be calling. Okay. Um, so it'll link right into you and they'll get that $250 off. And okay. just so everybody knows, we do not discount MDP ever. No, I, know, I know. This is a very special. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is very special. So in the description below, you'll see that the phone number. Ver be sure to mention Dave Palumbo and RX Muscle and you'll get your $250 off the. Uh, the procedure. Okay, so you got to go for a consult and have them mm -hmm. talk to you about what your needs are, what the cost will be, but you'll get that $250 off and that's the most important thing. And Dave, we also, you know, we always offer financing. So it's, we make it affordable for you so you could you can get it done.